when uh, diplomatic relations were established in the 1970s, uh, trade was not at the top of the agenda. Um, Australian and chi Chinese trade was very limited, and China was still recovering from the 10 disastrous years of the Cultural Revolution. So the economy was not strong, and there was a, we actually even had a program to assist China to develop exports for the Australian market using um, Australian government funds. So it was a very rare person who forecast uh, the degree to which trade would grow. I I'd like to just go back to the question that you asked, uh, Victor, about communication, because I was struck um, reading the transcript of the press uh, conference that uh, Albanese held in, in Beijing, reporting his uh, first and also his second meetings, by the warmth and cordiality of the, the exchanges. The fact that the first meeting with President Xi went on for more than an hour, much longer than was anticipated in, in the program, and the fact that both leaders used lighter tone in their remarks. I think the atmosphere is, was just as important as what was actually said. The fact that, you know, each side made slightly joking, humorous remarks uh, in their conversation. I take this also as a, a sign that both sides want to defuse tension.